Hey guys, it's Jimin here. Welcome back to our Clash of Clans video. Super excited about today. Today we just got level 10 archers in Clash of Clans. That's right. And we'll be showing you guys them in action. But before I get the video started, you guys know we do stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. There's a link down below to my Twitch channel. Check us out there. For right now, let's go show you guys these new level 10 archers and do attack with them. So if you guys don't know, I just finished up getting level 10 archers today, which is awesome. And I'm also now upgrading my barbarians to level 10. And I will do a separate video on that once I get them. So make sure to get subscribed for that video. So I'm super excited about that though. So yeah, be ready for that when you get that. So what we're gonna do here is attack with three hundred archers and i got an awesome attack strategy to go with it using invisibility spell rage spells and earthquake so let's go find a base to attack real quick okay guys so i just found our base we're going to attack with our all archer attack strategy hopefully our archer arrows don't get destroyed because not only are we worrying about scarab shots but mortars bomb towers and on top of that wizard towers i think i list all the splash damage things that we have to keep an eye out for so our idea is pretty simple we're actually going to start with a queen walk Thankfully, my clan members gave me some healers, so we have that to start up our queen one because we have all archers for the time being. So we're gonna drop in those archers and uh, our, our archers, our archer queen, and of course our healers, which are gonna go around the base to pick off some stuff. And on top of that, we're gonna then earthquake right here and try not to activate the town hall. If we do activate, it's not the worst thing in the world. We just don't really want that. So that's taken care of. Now our queen's gonna go around the base and do some stuff. We do have one rage spell. We don't have a whole lot. But we at least have one so we got to be careful with this rage spell and activate that right there we'll get the pick and our healers are going to kill up our queen and she's going to go around from the other side now we're going to drop our king and some archers to go with him so they can clean on up over here so what we need to do is now funnel on in and this is going to be the weird part because i don't know how the heck i'm going to funnel this on in because remember we only earthquake from one side so we need to push from one side so i think we're going to push from the side with the archer queen so we're course going to clean on up right here we're going to drop our royal champion we're gonna drop our warden with our queen now and then we're also gonna freeze that air defense unfortunately that air defense archer uh, expo took out our troops so once they get rid of that we can start pushing on in so we're gonna start spamming in the archers and pray they don't get shot and what we're gonna do of course is invisibility spell because we don't want them really getting shot at and i don't think this is gonna work as effective as i thought it would because the scatter shots can just absolutely destroy our troops and i don't have enough time to actually like avoid it so like oh there we go there we go we got it we got it we're we gonna freeze that that's good we have a ton of archers left over they haven't gotten targeted by the scatter and we're just spamming all these old 10 archers they're just gonna all die though this is an unfortunate thing like you can just see them they're just like yeah i'm gonna just throw up the rest on the opposite side because that is just not working whatsoever yeah, that was. Uh, hey, at least we'll get a one star out of this. So that's all that matters. You can actually like see though that like, once the archers actually do pile up, they're kind of like OP. They're actually really strong against gold storages because how many hit points they have, and you just pile them on up. But that's like said for any archer level. So of course we have all these archers, and then we're gonna activate a warden's ability, and they're all invincible for the time being. And we still have one invisibility spell, so they can't really get shot at. So let's drop this invisibility spell on our archers right here, and that way we can take out the scatter. Can they take out the scatter before they take out them? Ooh, they're cutting it really close. And the warden's kind of just taking it for them. The warden's literally taking it for the team. Nope. No, 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 no. This guy just retargeted to the archers and now they're all dead. That's fantastic. Hey, at least we got the one star out of this. So that's cool. You got to see the little 10 archers in action too, doing their thing. Gotta say though, their little hats they wear, like little temple hats, it looks pretty nice. Kind of reminds me kind of some of that temple run or something like that. But um, yeah, that's pretty dope. I like that though. Little 10 archers are really sick. I wish I have uh, barbarians to go with them. Maybe do an all max bar to attack strategy. I think I'll do a video on that. So get subscribed for that though. But um, yeah, that is the new level 10 archers and clash clans. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did, make sure to smash the like button, dragon punch and subscribe button. And don't forget to check us on Twitch because as you can tell, we stream this on Twitch and record it. So if you want to drop by our Twitch channel, hang out with us for a video, feel free to. And until then, I will see you guys in the next Clash of Clans video. Until then, good luck on the Clash of Clans and Dragon Punch.